Well, Danny, I'm Matthias Lanier, Kinichiat, and Mike. He's crew with the Laurma, and it's Lawn. He's done some good for Nebbiad, and he had a lot of paylons now with our trousers. And it's really glad to welcome a group of campaigners from Anglesey that I've been working pretty closely with, determined to make it clear that we will not accept a new line of electricity transmission pylons across the island. We know that National Grid have alternatives that they could investigate. They could look at putting an undersea option. They could look at putting an underground option, but they are going for the very cheapest option because that's what they think they have to do. We don't think it's acceptable. We think that Welsh Government should be firmer in uh, in joining us in our in our campaign we think uk government needs to hear that message we need ofgem the regulator to hear our message there has to be an investment in a better connection look at what's happening in other countries now germany and denmark they're making the assumption that any new electricity connections have to be underground we in the UK, as in Wales, we're still living in the past and thinking of the cheapest uh, way and the most uh, intrusive way of putting new electricity connections in place, and that is by putting up pylons and cables. We don't want that on Anglesey. <laughs> Gigi <laughs> I've never met a person yet who wants a second door pilot. It's blatantly obvious that these should be undergrounded or, as initially mooted, be put under the water as well, under the sea to please very. It is possible. But we are fighting the national grid, and the national grid is an all-powerful uh, machine. And it's not listening to us at the moment, so we're down here in Cardiff to make sure that our voice, the voice of Anglesey people, and the voice of people in Wales, really, because it can happen anywhere, is heard loud and clear. It's important that far more people on Anglesey are willing to voice uh, their opinions. We can make an electricity connection across the island or around the island without the need uh, for pylons that would be so uh, so detrimental for you know, tourism, for, uh, for property values uh, and would be a blight on so many lives across uh, the island. Make the investment, let's get an underground or an undersea connection.